we'll keep going. So the starting team consists of 11 players from Leinster, two players from Connacht. Uh, so this is the same, isn't it? So what was it? 12 Leinster players, three Connacht players, five Munster and three Ulster. Uh, find the probability that the first four substitutes involve one player from each province. Okay, so there's one Leinster sub on the bench and we want him. There's Connacht, one Connacht sub on the bench and we want him. Um, there's four Munster subs left and we want one. And there's there's only one Ulster player on the pitch, which means there's two on the bench, and we want one. Yeah. So that's is it one by one by four by two? Is that right? Um, and it's probability, so it has to be a fraction. So how many players were on the bench? There was one from Leinster, one from Connacht, four, yeah, and two. Same as what I figured out, sorry. So that's, what's that, ten, four, five, six, oh, eight. Yeah, sorry. So there's eight players on the bench and we want to choose four of them. So eight, the top line is that the four we choose are one from each province and the bottom line is just making the choice in the first place, which is eight over 70, which should simplify to four over 35. Uh, marking scheme. I don't know where I am. Where am I? gone past all that sorry uh, so we did that we did that yes yeah, so here yeah so four over 35 five marks okay so Find the probability that after these substitutions are made, the team still consists of 11 players from Leinster, two players from Connacht, and one player from each of Munster or Leinster. So that essentially means that in order to put a Leinster player on, we're going to take a Leinster player off. To put a Connacht player on, we're going to take a Connacht player off. Right. The players coming off. There are 11 Leinster players on the pitch and we want to take one off. There are two Connacht players on the pitch and we want to take one off. There is one Munster player on the pitch and we're going to take him off. And there's one Ulster player on the pitch and we're going to take him off. And of the 15 players on the pitch, we're going to take 14 of them off. Sorry. <laughs> No, we're not. We're going to take four of them off. So 11 choose one is 11 multiplied by two, multiplied by one, multiplied by one. So that is 22. And 15 choose four is one, three, six, five. Oh, that doesn't simplify. So that's 22 over one, three, six, five. The players that are coming on are the one from each team, which we calculated up here. So four over 35. So we want the players to go off and the players to come on. So do we just multiply? So 
So that by 4 over 35. So I'm getting 88 over 47,775. Players on and players off. So multiply. Yeah, I think that's right. Yeah, 88,004. Sorry, 88 over 47,775. And that is worth five marks. Five marks. And is that it? It is. So five, 10, 15, 25, 30 again. Yep. Yeah. Uh, right, we'll keep going and do the algebra, because why not? Haven't got interrupted yet. So <coughs> P is a root of the equation, blah, 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 where P is an element of Z, so we are looking for a whole number, and X is a real number, which is good, because we haven't done complex numbers yet. Uh, find the value of P. Okay, so if P is a root, we sub in roots. So <coughs> it's 3 times P cubed plus P plus 3 times P squared plus 7 minus P minus 4P squared times P and then minus 4 equals 0. Okay, so 3P cubed is fine. This one I'm going to do that with. Sorry, I said cubed, I wrote squared. Uh, so this is p cubed plus 3p squared. This one I'm going to do the same, except there's three of them. Um, so plus 7p minus p squared minus 4p cubed. And then I just have minus 4 and equals 0. Okay, so I've got this one, this one, which is an invisible one, and this one. Oh, nice, they cancel. So three and one is four minus four. Well, that makes it a lot easier. Uh, so my squares are these two. So three P squared minus one P squared is two P squared plus seven P minus four equals zero. So it's a uh, minus B or a guide number. I'm going to do guide. So the guide is minus eight. So one by eight, two by four. We're looking for seven. So it's going to be one by eight. And we're looking for a plus seven. So it's going to be a plus on the eight and a minus on the one. Uh, so write down two P squared and then plus 8p minus 1p and then your minus 4 and your equal 0 um, make your groups so this is 2p and p plus 4 and this is minus 1 and p plus 4 so that gives me p plus 4 and 2p minus 1 uh, let oh sorry let each of them equal zero this one is minus four minus four so p equals minus four this one is plus one plus one so two p equals one and divide by two divide by two so p is a half Um, find the value of p and it said that p was going to be a whole number so I reject that and that's my answer so p is minus 4 and 5 marks Okay, 
and then this one hence so that means it is connected so p is minus four i don't know um solve this equation and write any irrational solutions in the form and just basically keep the third okay so 3x cubed plus minus 4 plus 3x squared plus oh, bracket 7 minus minus 4 minus 4 times minus 4 squared x minus 4 equals 0. Jesus. Okay, I think I put everything in right there. Minus, a lot of minuses in that second bracket. So 3x squared, um, this is minus 1. So minus 1, that's 3x cubed, isn't it? It is. I'm not seeing my cubes today. Uh, okay, right, what's going on here? So that thing at the end is 16 times minus 4. it is so that's minus 64 minus minus 4 is plus 4 and then the 7 is plus 7 so minus 53 is what I'm getting there I'm just gonna blindly check that so 7 minus bracket minus 4 bracket minus 4 bracket minus 4 bracket squared yeah uh, okay so I had a root. Did I not? Did they not give me a root? They said P was a root. And we know P. So that means... X equal to minus 4 is a root. So X plus 4 is a factor. Yeah, so to turn a root into a factor, you basically just bring that back across. I just do it correctly. <laughs> so x plus 4. Yeah, and then factors get divided in. So x plus 4 into 3x cubed minus 1x squared minus 53x minus 4. So I'm doing this into this, which is 2x squared. That by that is 2x cubed plus 8x squared. Uh, this becomes a minus, this becomes a minus, 